Hi guys, welcome to Butte Mountain Homestead. It is Monday night. I did a little community post this morning on I couldn't do a video today because the winds were 30 miles an hour. It was just crazy, but I got a lot done inside. So the wind has died down to almost nothing. It's a very slight breeze, so I thought I would come out and do the quickest little garden tour that I can possibly get in. Um, there is weeds, there's stuff that's just, that's just how it is. We do have the echinacea or coneflower. We have poppies that are gonna go to seed. I'm gonna let them. There's artemisia back here. I'm letting it go to seed and I cut it back pretty soon. I let it kind of go. Uh, I did cut back the hollyhocks. There's my yard waste bucket over there, but uh, the yarrow is kind of getting where it wants to uh, to do something, right? Let's see, right there's the yarrow. So hopefully that'll do something soon. I'm not doing much planting. Oh, you want to see the cutest thing? And I will show you this as many times as it comes up, but there are bumblebees asleep on leaves and on flowers. There's one right there. There's one right there. I will show you some out in the potager on the hollyhocks. They just fall asleep right where they're at. It's the sweetest thing ever. So here's these. I cut back those uh, little tiny, the like little purple there in the tulip family. I do need to cover it up though because they, they kind of came to the surface. So I need to take care of that and I'm losing daylight so this is seriously going to be quick uh see the eden rose is kind of bouncing back i had something kind of weird happen though the babies that were in there are gone and they are not like quail or uh, kildees where they can fly right away so i don't know if the wind blew them out i have no idea i cannot find them in any of the roses i couldn't find them on the bottom so maybe they did i don't know but now that they're out i can remove that nest and i can treat this rose she's wanting to bounce back but she is haggard holy smokes let's see i'm giving the cucumbers and the zucchini drink of water really quick um, i had to do some more replacing of batteries I'm hoping tomorrow, wind or not, I'm going to get pruning on the roses. I'm actually home tomorrow. So I'm going to get at least that side pruned. All that white you see is all the spent roses. <laughs> Show it up close. Hopefully there's no rattlesnakes. See? So I just need to get in here. It just takes forever. That's all. So let's see. Like I said, I'm trying to do this really quick. The tomatoes are now... That one's probably as tall as I am. I'm 5'2", so yeah. Look at, got some nice tomatoes on there. I did cut back the sage. I am, I'm just taking and just as much as I can reach, just cutting off the seed heads. I pruned back the marigolds. Sorry, this is kind of quick, but we're supposed to be windy all this week, so I'm, I'm doing what I can. So hopefully you can bear with me. Uh, the germination on the sunflowers is not too, not too keen. We have one for sure right there. And then these little weeds I've been trying to pull. I'm not seeing, see baby frogs everywhere. I'm not seeing any more. So I don't know. I might just stick something in there just so it'll grow. So that I'm not wasting water. So oh, there's a sunflower right there. Uh, these melons are doing really good. There's one forming right there. They finally caught on. They finally forgave me for planting them in this heat. So, And I'm watering everything right now because this is the, one of the beds that the batteries died on. So uh, celery is recuperating. From being died back, it's recuperating. Uh, here's the peppers. That sunflower is about bit the ghost. Uh, there's peppers, the green beans. Um, I'm still picking. I may pick some tomorrow. I picked some yesterday. Oh, I wanted to show you. 
There's a cantaloupe right there. Wait till you see the other two. Oh my gosh. I saw them the other day by accident when I was picking green beans. And I'm like, what in the world? But yeah, look at that one. Look at that one. And then there's another one. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Oh gosh. Oh, it's right there. Look at that. So, pretty cool. And I need to... <laughs> It's attaching itself to the celery. It's not liking that I'm making it go up the trellis. So I may put it down and let it grow on the ground. We'll see. I don't see a big honeydew. There is little ones, but I don't see a big one. Oh, a frog just jumped on my leg. Uh, pole beans haven't flowered yet, but that's okay. They will. They will. The frogs, I tell you. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. The little tiny tree frogs. Oh, here's another bumblebee asleep. Look at her. <laughs> it's the sweetest thing. Amish paste tomatoes coming on. Let's see. <laughs> Girl's going to bed. Oh, here's some more. She's still awake. But she's asleep. And, oh. There's one right there asleep. There's one right there asleep. I'm telling you, it is. Uh, there's one right there. They just go to sleep where they where they want. Actually, there's two in there. They're kind of. Oh no, that's one. That's one big one. But it is the sweetest thing. My understanding is because they don't have a hive to go back to. Oh, and then there's one kind of right there. You can see her little bum sweetest thing so I think tomorrow after I harvest these green beans this one's getting pulled and I'm gonna re-sow another one in its place and I think there's another one over there that's not looking too great I'm gonna pull it and re-sow in its place and let's see this is just a hot mess I don't think there's any asleep on here I do need to cut all these back though because see look at all those hollyhocks are gonna go to seed and I don't want that so Hopefully I can cut those all back tomorrow and get those tossed. Um, I did need to water the lemon because there was some dried out ones from just the wind just dries out everything. But, yep. Hi there, sweet girl. Uh, yep, just need a deadhead. So. And that Rosa Sharon over there, I'm not sure. Oh, the grasshoppers. The grasshoppers are just stripping everything right now. It's just, oh, there's some orchards by us and the walnut trees are just stripped down to nothing. So I don't know if I lost that from when that um, watering system was off or not. So I'm not sure. Hopefully I didn't. Um, I need to, <laughs> it's... It's if I have time and the weather's nice, I do stuff, but there's then I have that kind of stuff that needs to be cleaned up, and then there's the wind, and I can't do it in the wind. So it's kind of like one of those double edged swords. That's how it goes. But oh, and there's another bumblebee asleep. Seriously, isn't that the sweetest thing ever? <laughs> they just they just cocoon right up. They go to sleep. Or was that one under here? Oh, there she is right there I don't want to disturb her but she's right there she is look at her <laughs> oh there's another one see they just go to sleep wherever they want kind of cool little gypsies so some of the asparagus is about ready to get cut back oh yeah see we've had sunset a while ago but you can't tell from here, but cows are out on the ridge. It's been so cool the last couple days, considering that they've just kind of stayed out there. But the aftermath, I had my reading chase lounger there. But, yep, that's just where we're at right now. So, not much to show, really. Uh, the parsley... It, it didn't mind the oregano being cut back. There is new growth in there. It doesn't look like it, but if you look kind of close, there's some green in there. So, 
anyways guys that's about what I got not much so anyways hopefully you stick around <laughs> and just uh, hang out for the videos I did transfer that one cherry tomato and yeah that's a lemon cucumber that's a lemon cucumber and that's a zucchini and then that's a rose of Sharon so there's the difference between that one and that one down there I'm not walking down there because that's just one of those areas that is just a hot mess so anyways this is real life guys so thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video hopefully there's something a little bit more interesting to see next time but remember to always be kind and I mean that in all aspects Rem be kind to people you see pe be kind to people on here be kind to me um, yeah it's just this is what I love to do my husband and I live in a beautiful area it is hot but um, yeah just be kind guys so anyways also do what makes you happy and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thanks, guys.